Hello Internet, today we are going to fit a speed sensor to the front of the S13. Um, so the reason we fit into the front is so we get um, a better um, idea of what car, what speed the car is actually going. Um, because if you fit it to rear wheels, the rear wheels are spinning significantly quicker than you're actually travelling. Um, and obviously having the speed from the front wheels will indicate what speed you're doing. So yeah, we're not sure if we'll quite manage 120 around rocking a mouth paddock. but never know. So our universal speed sensor should give us the uh, required information for that. Uh, it's a pretty simple affair, it works like a, a magnet effectively. There's a magnet in here and we're going to use the ABS ring, uh, the standard ABS ring. Um, so as it passes it kind of, I guess, moves the magnet slightly, um, creates like a very small voltage and uh, gives us our speed readout which the ECU can then calculate um, into a usable figure. So because we use drift mask Driftmaster, Driftworks Geomaster 2 hubs, there's no facility to put the standard ABS sensor in, um, so we're going to have to make a little bracket to mount it on there. Shouldn't be too hard, it'll probably end up as being like a little L shape with a few holes drilled in it. Um, and obviously the sensor, it's got a thread on it so you can adjust the depth um, to be correct. It's be within a couple of millimetres I presume, it shouldn't be too difficult to work out. So first thing we've got to do is take the brake caliper off, take the disc off, and then we can see what um, sort of shared bracket's got to be. Okay, so that's the um, brake disc off. Um, so what we've got to do is come up with some sort of mount in here. Um, probably just going to bolt it onto here. Um, and then allow the sensor to sit something like that, I think. Okay, I've kind of done my um, cardboard aided design or CAD, a lot easier than it's made out to be. Um, so the little bracket is going to go kind of here, um, drill two holes in the hub, some bolts in there, some kind of washers and not falling off type thing and then end up the sensor sat here tucked up nicely won't interfere with this won't interfere with the disc hopefully that will work so i'm either going to cut it out myself or get mike or alex to do it um because they'll do it significantly quicker than me um, and probably won't end up cutting themselves or anything in the process that was well hot Great From CAD design to finished purple, pink, what do you want to call it, bracket. Um, I'm going to refit it now. Okay, pretty much complete now. Um, as you can see, down here, we've got the uh, sensor, obviously on the ABS ring, um, and we've got the cable that goes up through the wheel arch, and eventually connects to the ECU. Now we've just got to set up the uh, ECU to actually do something with that. Um, well, I guess it's just pulses that come from it in a minute. So once the ECU is set up, then we can then transfer that onto the dash so that there's a visible readout on the um, Dash 2 Pro that we run in the car on the screen. Not 100% necessary, but because it's on the ECU, we might as well put it on the dash as well. So we use a Link G4 Plus Extreme unit. Um, so it's a pretty easy ECU to kind of make these little adjustments with. And I'll show you how to do that now. So the first thing you want to do is open up your software, which is just here. Now. You want to go over to bring up DI1, which um, if you've never done that before, go ECU settings, um, 
digital inputs and digital input one, which is what we have wired the um, switch to, switch sensor. So the wiring on the sensor is pretty easy. It's basically a, a ground and then a DI wire. So set those up and then obviously make sure you know which DI you've assigned it to. And you go into one. Um, and that is a front left wheel. So we'll highlight that and press OK. Um, and then this is the important number here. Now that tells you, that basically is a calculation for what speed reads out. Because at the minute it's just counting teeth and it has no idea what to do with those numbers. Um, so Link have provided the calculation for it in their help file, um, which we've got open here. So, as you can see here, calibration number, number of sensor teeth, which is 46 in our application, divided by wheel diameter, um, and then times by 31.83. And note the wheel diameter is in meters. So our wheel diameter was something like 62, 61.2, um, and that gave us the number you'll see on the screen here. Now, for anyone in the UK, it's a little bit tricky because it's defaulted into kilometers, so it will say you're doing a speed that you're not really familiar with. Um, but once it's on the dash, we convert it to, we can convert it to miles an hour. So that's the settings. Um, another thing you need to do is set up, um, tell the ECU that that is the speed reading so it can output it to the dash. And you do that in the chassis area. So go back to settings, come down here, and you've got speed sources. Oh, sorry, on the camera, wrong place. Um, so you've got driven wheels and non-driven wheels. Now, the dash only picks it up the signal from the non-driven wheels, so that's the one we want to set up. And obviously we've got on the front, so it is a non-driven wheel on that car. So tell it to pick it up from the left front, which is the same one we just selected. And press OK. Um, and then connect the compute to the car, store the settings, and you should be good to go. And we've just set up a little option here so we can check it's working and display the speed. Now, if you've got a Dash 2 Pro like we have, um, you'll probably have it set up as um, Link recommend using the CAN settings. So to get it to display on your Dash, it's quite easy. You just have to go to the program again, which is here. Um, you get CAN inputs and look for speed so speed from ECU you can see that there tick the box make sure it's enabled um, and on the standard license you can only have 16 15 or 16 um, items checked now I already know that there's 15 whatever the number is supposed to be we've got in there from when I've set up other things on the dash so I don't need to do any counting there um, but that's something to know a few people have made that um, mistake on other functions I've read on the internet um, and different videos on how to set these things up so once you've set that press ok which doesn't seem to be working oh car can be functions um, speed readout make sure display non GPS speed is selected um, we want it displayed in miles per hour because that's what more, we're more used to in the UK um, and then enable speed so originally we had it on blank which has no speed so you don't have a zero set there the whole time with enable speed it comes up with the well we're not going anywhere it'll just be a zero um, and then hopefully as we drive the speed will increase cool um, so we just download the settings into the ECU um, we'll just do that in a second and take the car for a little spin around the yard um, just to make sure it's actually working um, if it doesn't work I don't really know why basically but we'll find out hey it works is that in kilometres or miles now? Oh, I Okay, well it works in our little test drive, um, so now we've just got to give it a proper test at Teesside for the practice day for the BDC on Monday.